There's even more news that we didn't get a chance to on Orbit 10.35. Mike, why don't you tell me a little bit more about this awesomely named OSIRIS-REx mission? <laughs> well, NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, which is going to be rendezvousing with asteroid Bennu and taking samples for scientists, has performed a maneuver, which is an Earth flyby, which happened on Friday, that gave it a gravity assist to help it rendezvous with asteroid Bennu. And Ast uh, OSIRIS-REx launched about a year ago from Cape Canaveral aboard an Atlas V rocket, and that launched on September 8, 2016. Now, OSIRIS-REx returned near Earth on Friday, and it took the probe about 17,236 seven kilometers or 10,771 miles over the planet. And the spacecraft made its closest approach to Earth around 1652 coordinated universal time, passing over Antarctica just south of Cape Horn in Chile. Now, uh, navigators were able to confirm that the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft's trajectory during this flyby would not go near any satellites or space junk that are being tracked in Earth orbit. And the spacecraft also began collecting imagery and was calibrating its instruments and making sure that there's any problems with its instruments. And that occurred about four hours after the closest approach to Earth. Now, after this, uh, uh, NASA seems to uh, have said that everything performed as expected with these calibration and imagery tests. And they're going to be looking back at Earth and the Moon for up to 10 days after this encounter, uh, capturing all, as many close-up and long-range views as they can. And they're going to send out images for, they released that they will release on Tuesday of the closest approach to Earth on Tuesday. Now, uh, the spacecraft got a gravitational assist from this encounter using Earth's gravity, and it's going to redirect its orbit toward asteroid Bennu, which is actually inclined to Earth's orbit about six degrees from the plane that Earth is orbited around the sun. And this was able to uh, have the spacecraft do this without any assistance from its own onboard fuel. And without this gravity assist, the spacecraft would have been much, much bigger and would have needed a much bigger rocket than the Atlas V in order to do this mission successfully. So it's got en route now successfully, and it's going to be entering its science phase in August of 2018, and then rendezvousing with and orbiting around asteroid Bennu in November of 2018, and hopefully returning some awesome data from that mission. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. On Orbit 10.35, Jared had a great interview with Skylab astronaut Jerry Carr. And if you're interested in this or anything else space, feel free to join us live every Saturday at 1800 UTC.